The way that we would think about supplements in general is number one, remove, redu remove, reduce, try to eliminate any, any physiological insufficiency, whether that is coming because of caloric restriction. So we have dealt with a lot of people, whether this is again, as our athletes or non-athletes where caloric restriction is a thing. And I'm saying that because that's why supplements tend to be helpful. I would prefer you to get all your stuff from food, but when food is limited for a bunch of different reasons, now we can use supplements to backfill vitamins, nutrients, minerals, and a bunch of other stuff. That is our top line performance enhancement. When your physiology is in a healthier spot, it will perform better. So we can get into beta alanine and other things for sure, but that's really important for me to state because that is where we have actually seen by far the most enhancements in performance and recovery and sleep and cognitive function, you name it. It's by just making sure we call them performance anchors, that you don't have any anchor behind you. Nothing's just like dragging your physiology down. We get that thing solved, get it up back to normal. And then for the most part, I want to step away. Like I want to let your physiology just run how it wants to run. But if we have big holes, we plug them first. Whether you want to pick your metric is, again, recovery, muscle growth, testosterone levels, like pick your thing that's going to get your brain most excited. That's where we see the most impact, like by a landslide.